But I'm simply saying, Alex, that you are a product of the Christian morality that repudiates it now. You're standing on a Christian mountain and acting like, whoa, look at these Christians. They taught you to talk like this. Yes, these people did not teach me to think like that. They did. These people were listening to their God who was telling them to slaughter innocent women That's and right. children. That's right. The Amalek, the, that, right, the ancient Israelites were. But the ancient Israelites are not what taught you. What taught you is the... the what taught you is the thousand-year tradition of the early Christian church. The Which came the, a bit too late for the Amalekites. It came a bit too late for the Amalekites, these, to be were, sure. Were the Israelite armies not instructed by the God that you believe in? They were instructed by God. And they were instructed to do things which you would now consider to be immoral, yes? Absolutely. So the, God, has, God, has, God has commanded them to do something which you now consider to be immoral. Whether or not you consider on, it to be immoral because on. of the later developments of Christian ethics, God himself has told us that we must abandon our intuition that the, that the slaughter of women and children, and by the way, when it's unnecessary in those instances to slaughter them, well, is Well, I, I, don't, I don't view it that way. This is how I view it. Christi um, let's put it this way. Even in the ancient world, divine revelation comes into a primitive barbaric world which is full of a lot of really bad guys um and god says keep going uh, no keep god, it up god, You're god, doing god, such a god good does job. not god does not say keep going but what god does is is and, and and again this is called you know trying to get the point of what is happening there's slavery in this world uh, in the ancient world and it is true the bible doesn't come in and go we denounce slavery we denounce the killing of women and children it doesn't it do that the opposite. it actually immerses itself into an existing, admittedly barbaric culture. And what's actually going on there with the Amalekites, the Canaanites, and so on, if you just read the Old Testament, it tells you. It has to do with the displacement of polytheism with monotheism. Oh, that's, that's fine. Hold on, hold on. That justifies the murder of, it, of I children and women. I didn't say it does. That's what you're I'm implying. saying, I'm saying that the way it happens historically it. is God takes a side. The, the single monotheistic God, who, by the way, in the Old Testament does not act like a monotheistic God. He acts like a tribal God, right? He acts like that. the God of only the Israelites. Well, and so saying, Israel's Dinesh. enemies... Listen to what you just said. The God that you believe in is acting like a tribal war God. The God of the... Yes, the, 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 the God that is depicted in the Old Testament is... He's, he goes, I'm picking the Jews.